Hey everyone, it's Ms. Bell again here in the Science Lab, and in this video I wanted to talk about a bunch of different tools that we use to measure different things. Uh, you might be measuring time, you might be measuring length, you might be measuring um, force or weight or volume, and there's a bunch of bunch of different tools and items that help us with accurate measurements. Um, that might be a stopwatch um, that measures time. It might be a ruler or a meter stick or a measuring tape to help us measure length. It might be um, something to help us measure volume such as uh, a beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask or even um, measuring the volume of um, liquids or really, really small solid particles um, with measuring cups or teaspoons or tablespoons. If you want to measure mass, um, you would use a triple beam balance um, to get your measurements in grams. Or you can uh, measure weight using a scale. You can see these at certain grocery stores or even if you go to a doctor's office where you step on a scale and they measure your body weight. Um, another thing that we use to measure are bucket balances. You might see that in the lower grade levels. Not only do those help measure, but those are also for exploration. You can put things in the buckets on either side and you can visually see, oh, this one is heavier or I can place more and more and more on the other side and then now this side is heavier. Uh, we have thermometers on the other side of the table. Those help us um, measure temperature in either Celsius or Fahrenheit or graduated cylinders. Um, they can help us measure um, volume um, in either liquids or by placing something in there and doing some calculations to measure the volume of um, solids. And then we also have spring scales. Um, those help us measure force um, when we kind of drag them along um, either a table or an inclined plane to help us measure force in uh, newtons. These are just a handful of measuring tools that we use and scientists and mathematicians um, all over, they might use a even wider variety of measuring tools, but here in the science lab at school, these are what you're mostly going to see when it comes to measuring. Let's take a closer look. Again, this is our triple beam So this is our triple beam balance right here, and we would place an item, such as so, on top of the scale, and we would move these knobs over to help us get an accurate measurement um, for trying to determine the mass of this object. Here we have measuring cups, either a cup or um, this one is half a cup, this is a third, and this is one fourth cup. Or you might see a measuring cup um, that looks almost like a glass or a pitcher with a handle. And this has um, measurements in cups and ounces. This goes all the way up to four cups. So that would be four of these inside here. You turn it around and then you get measurements in milliliters. So this is a handy dandy tool um, depending on what you're trying to measure, whether it be cups, fluid ounces, um, or milliliters. Um, right here, we have a scale. Like I mentioned, um, you place an item on top of the scale, and then you go to the front, and you look at the dial, and you see um, you know, how many ounces versus how many pounds, or how many grams versus kilograms. And then we have beakers. Here's a little small size, medium, and a large size, and an Erlenmeyer flask. Um, you are able to put liquids in here, and it does have measurements in milliliters. 
um, to see the volume of a liquid. But we also use beakers in the science lab to hold liquids, to stir liquids, to heat up liquids. Um, so beakers actually have a lot more uses than just measurement. Over here we have a stopwatch and I have a video that I've made about how to record time. And so when you use a stopwatch you have a beginning time and an end time. With rulers they might come in different um, shapes or sizes. You know this clear ruler is half the size of the 12 inch rulers, but they measure length um, in inches or you can also read them in centimeters or millimeters. Uh, the same kind of goes with our meter stick and our measuring tape. Again, those are measuring length or how far um, a distance is. Um, and just depending on the markings on either the ruler or meter stick, you're going to be able to see um, how many centimeters or millimeters, maybe even inches or feet or half a feet or yards. Um, again, just depending on how it's labeled on these measuring tools. Over here um, is our spring scale and you would hook an item to the spring scale and then you would use your um, hand to pull and as you can see that spring moves inside and you're able to get a good measurement of the force used to move objects. Over here we have our thermometer and they might come in different shapes or sizes as well. Here we have a jumbo one. It's uh, yellow but it has the same measurements in accurate reading as a smaller size and that measures temperature Celsius or Fahrenheit and then we have our graduated cylinders back here we have a huge um, tall one and then kind of a medium sized clear one and then we have this graduated cylinder which is kind of the same height but a lot thinner and you're going to get a lot uh, more accurate readings when you're trying to measure um, the volume of liquids or even when you're doing your calculations of measuring the volume of solid objects. Over here I have a bucket balance. So you could just grab one item, place it over here, and use that to compare or explore the volume of two different items. You can add, add, add some more. Sometimes we use gram um, stackers and you can place them on one side. You see how much that adjusts the bucket balance. And this just allows for visuals. And with the bucket balance, it's not necessarily um, accurate readings unless you're using something like gram stackers but with the younger kiddos they're just trying to see visually what has more weight to it. If I keep adding on one side is the balance eventually going to topple over? Am I going to add enough things, enough items to one side that will eventually move the scale back and forth. 